Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, so I am back from vacation. As you might see, I am actually not wearing any makeup today. Um, I got back, I had a ton of packages, wanted to try and get as many unboxings filmed as I could on my first night back, and I was a little exhausted, so we're going the no makeup look today. And it meant that I got to wear these really cool new pajamas from a Black Star Co. I will link them down below. But these are my ghost face jammies and I love them so much. And today I'm going to be doing a Nightworms unboxing. If you have never heard of Nightworms before, they are a horror themed book subscription box that retails for about $39.99 plus shipping and handling. For me that comes out to about $44 and change every single month. They are my all-time favorite book box. I've decided their 2021 packages have just been absolutely killing it. And we are going through the June box. Um, I already know what one of the books are in here. They did a little spoiler, but I don't know what the other book is. And I'm very, very excited. So let's dive right in. Okay, so she is open. We have two books this month, it looks like. As always, I'm gonna go through our little goodie bag first. This cute little floral sticker there. So this month's theme is Darkest Fears for the June 2021 box and on the back it says that our authors will be Josh Mallerman and Philip Francasi, Francasi, I hope I said that right, I really don't know. I really like this bookmark. I love all their bookmarks. Um, they're really cute. <laughs> and then let's see, we have our spoiler card which I'll put over here. We have two book plates, yay. Love that. We have, is this a CD? Oh, it's Carpenter's Farm, a serialized novel by Josh Mallerman with music by Chris Campbell. Hmm. I don't know if this is like an audio book or like music. <laughs> it's, it's like a CD. It's got like main titles, forgiveness, Tracy sees something. I don't know. I don't have a CD player, but um, maybe I can put it in my computer, but that's pretty cool. So let's see, we have Evil Tea, which has like this um, it's like Wendigo looking guy on it. And it's a Sacred Grove Peach Apricot Green Tea. Very cute. All right, I'm down about that. I really like this um, packaging. I've never heard of Evil Tea Co. That's fun. We then get Donnie Goodman, The Razor Blades in My Head. Which is just a little ad for an upcoming novel, looks like. That's very like 80s horror, right? Like that reminds me so much of like the Goonies and like the Lost Boys and maybe a little bit of like Pet Cemetery. Then we get a bookmark for Encyclopocalypse. Cool. Which is also, I guess, like another ad for an upcoming novel. We get um, Evil Tea, Give Me Tea or Give Me Death sticker. That's really cute with the little Grim Reaper skeleton man. I like that. I really like this Evil Tea branding. It's cute. Um, we get a ghost jar. That's cute. <laughs> They're like little fireflies. Um, and then we have The Boys in the Valley, Gut-Wrenching, Heartbreaking, and Terrifying, which is an ad for another book that's coming later this year by Philip Francesi. And then Ghoul in the Cape, which looks to be another Josh Mallerman book coming later this year. That's fun. I didn't know that they had other books coming out. So let's let's go in. We're gonna start with the book that I knew I was getting. Oh, I didn't know it was gonna be a hard copy. All right, so hardback issue of Goblin, which is a novel in six novels by Josh Mallerman. Let's see what it says. So it says, um, from the New York Times best-selling author of Bird Box and Mallory, a novella collection in which each story reveals a sinister secret about a mysterious small town. Goblin seems like any other ordinary small town, but with master storyteller Josh Mallerman as your tour guide, you'll discover the secrets that hide behind its closed doors. These six novellas tell the story of a place where the rain is always falling, nighttime is always near, and your darkest fears and desires await. Go Welcome to Goblin. A Man in Slices. A man proves his legendary love to his girlfriend with a sacrifice even more daring than Vincent Van Gogh's and sends her more than his heart. Camp. Walter Camp is afraid of everything, but most afraid of being scared to death, and he sets traps around his home to catch the ghosts that haunt him. He learns that nothing is more terrifying than fear itself. 
Happy birthday, hunter. A famed big game hunter is determined to capture and kill the ultimate prey, the mythic great owl who lives in Goblin's Dark Forest. But this mysterious creature is not the only secret the woods are keeping. Presto. All Peter wants is to be like his hero, Roman Emperor, the greatest magician in the world. When the famous magician comes to Goblin, Peter discovers that not all magic is simply an illusion. A mix-up at the zoo. The new zookeeper feels a mysterious kinship with the animals in his care, and finds that his work is freeing dark forces inside him. And finally, the hedges. When his wife dies, a man builds a hedge made so elaborate that no one ever solves it, until a little girl resolves to be the first to find the mysteries that wait at its heart. So I'm very excited about this. Um, I read Bird Box a few months back, which is my, my first introduction to Josh Mallerman. Wasn't blown away with it, but I did like some of his styles of writing enough that this was a book that I was very interested in reading for this year. I was going to pick it up anyway, um, but I didn't have to because it was in my Nightworm. So love that. Love this kind of Alice in Wonderland -y, um, cover. Like, I really, really love this. I'm reading Wisteria Cottage right now, which was from my um, February 2021 Nightworms. I have a video on that. And this actually really reminds me of the cover of that. Like this has been a big trend in books this year, like haunted house books with like the really cool, almost purple shaded um, house on the cover. And I really dig the aesthetic. I think it's really, really cool. So yes, very excited for Goblin. And then next we got Beneath a Pale Sky by Philip Frankasi, Frankasi, I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong, um, with introduction by Josh Mallerman. And it says, uh, Philip Frankasi's fiction is a mix of old new school horrors, chock full of frightening monsters, demons, and humans. I always look forward to what he's going to do next from Paul Tremblay. Paul Tremblay always likes to have a little blurb on the covers of books recently. So let's see what this book is about. Does it tell me? Kind of have blurbs? Does it tell me what this book is about? Um, it says, herein lies friends of the devil and greedy scientists, mental homes and the music of hell, a book for the ages, which is from the intro by Josh Mallerman. And then this is from Booklist. It says, this is a collection that articulates the dark emotions of the genre itself, unease, anxiety, and dread, as each tale turns on a dime from slightly unsettling to palpably terrifying, often with a single sentence, and the results are breathtaking. And then we have another quote that says, Philip Frank Casey is an artist with who point <laughs> is an artist who paints with words. I don't know if I've ever read a book that left me with so many striking images. There are finely crafted stories, timeless and original. And that is from, it looks like Zoe Sage. Uh, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. It's the author of Baby Teeth. Um, so let me see, is this a short story collection? Yeah, it is. It looks like it is a short story collection. Cool. All right. So that's interesting that we got two short story collections by these guys. I know that this is like a reprint. Um, I think this was this came out originally a couple of years ago. Um, yes, copyright 2017. And this is now like a, a re-release. Let me see. Is this one new? This is sort of a new release. These are all stories that have been published at other times, but this seems to be the first time they've been published together, and several of them are from 2021. Cool. Um, I'm really excited. I don't know anything about Philip Francesi. I really, really love this Ferris wheel cover. I think this Ferris wheel is really, this is a very stunning and striking and memorable book cover, which I'm very happy with. Um, I know I just kind of like gushed over this, but these are some striking, striking books. Usually not into like the short story collection. I really like reading short stories, but uh, it's I never want to like sit and kind of read the whole thing all at once. I usually like piecemeal them. Um, but I might just read all of them, especially since Goblin is um, kind of all set in the same town. It's kind of like one big story. And this, I don't know anything about Philip from Casey, so this will be definitely fun to, to dive into. So I'm really happy with this. Let's go through my spoiler card. So yes. We have Goblin from Josh Mallerman with the signed book plate, Carpenter's Farm soundtrack. Um, we have Beneath a Pale Sky by Philip Francesi with his signed book plate, the Mason Jar sticker of Ghost, the Dark Fears bookmark, and the Sacred Grove tea. Awesome. So, da -da -da. okay. So it is a whole serialized novel. So this is so Carpenter's Farm is definitely a an ebook that I now have on CD. Um, I'll have to get a CD player and see if I can do that. I usually don't, not ebook, what am I saying? Audiobook. Audiobook. I said ebook earlier, sorry, it's an audiobook. 
Um, but this is cool. I'm really, really happy with this. Um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with this. Nightworms has been fantastic so far. I, I love when they introduce me to new authors and I really like when I get to read more works from authors I'm already familiar with. Um, and I really like small town horror so i'm very excited about goblin really interested to see what beneath the pale sky is all about because they don't really give you a lot of information on that but all in all yes very 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 excited i think i'm gonna make that tea later tonight so we will see but yeah as always guys thank you so much for watching i post every monday and thursday and if you enjoy these videos please hit those like and subscribe buttons down below and i will catch you guys all in the next one thank you so much Mwah. bye